Hi everyone, BRTN Slides is here and today I am going to show you how I created this awesome animation here on PowerPoint. But before that, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, and hit the notification bell for you to become updated on our future PowerPoint tutorials and also PowerPoint giveaways. This is PRTN Slides and let us now begin. Okay, so we are starting off with our blank presentation slide right over here. The first thing that you may want to do is to change the background color of your slide. So just right click on it and hit format background. And then I would like to make it dark blue, change the color to dark blue. I think this looks good. And the second thing that you need to do is to insert a um, insert a circle here in the middle of your slide. So just align align the circle in the center and the middle as well. There you go. Then change it to color white. Then just duplicate this um, circle and make it a little bit bigger. Make it a little bit bigger from it then send it to back then just try to change the color of it so you could distinguish which circle it is <laughs> obviously so let's make it with this color for example okay so just repeat the process until you have like um four different um sizes of circles there you go so we now have four different sizes of circles at the center of this slide so the next thing that you may want to do is to remove the shape outline of all of these circles so just go to shape outline and select no outline there you go now it looks pretty much um good and better than before Okay, so if you are satisfied with that color, then you could retain it, but I would like to change the color of it and make some of the circles with um, different gradient colors. Okay, so now I got this um, different colors of this circle, so... The next thing that you need to do is to click this white, the smaller, the smallest circle of them, and just rotate it upside down. There you go. Then the next thing that you need to do is to duplicate this slide. So hold Control and select D. That's how you duplicate your slide. And then just enlarge all of these circles. All right, so now I have these um, different sizes. So it is up to you if you would also like to change the color of these circles. But for me, I prefer to have this kind of color shades for our presentation today. All right, so the next thing that you need to do is to click the second circle right over here. And you may want to... Um, insert your photo inside of it so just select this second circle and go to picture or texture field and hit insert and it is up to you if you would like to go directly from your files or use the stock images for the template all right so now i have this image all right so the next thing that you need to do is just to rotate first the um the biggest circle upside down rotate it upside down and also this um circle right over here the second biggest circle among them and then now that you have that select the white circle the smallest white circle go to shape format and we would like to remove the 
feel of it make the shape outline into white it should look like that okay so um also you need to increase the weight of the shape outline so let's make it six and you may also want to create some design design from it so let's go to dashes and let's select this uh, dash right over here and just pretty much enlarge um the circle into this size there you go now you should have that and the last thing that you need to do is to rotate it upside down like on its original um, position so your second slide should look like this this is the biggest slide then the third circle then the second circle and the first circle okay the next thing that you need to do right over here is to duplicate again the second your second slide so control d to duplicate it and then adjust your first second third okay so adjust your third circle right on this side and this photo on the left side okay so and make it um smaller and also adjust these um dashes on this side as well there you go now you should have that and it's all up to you if you would like to enlarge it a little bit or not or just retain the the sizes of them just make sure that the positions of the circles and also the photo and the dashes should be like this all right so okay let's adjust it a little more pick it on the right side here on the more left side or let's just um leave it right over there all right so the last thing that you need to do is to rotate again these dashes upside down again just make sure everything fits really well on each other all right so okay and second to the last um of course you need to add your text right over here so let us let let me just design our text or rather the content right over here all right so now we have our content right over here you know it is now it is all up to you if what content would you like to add on this side but i am suggesting and um would like to encourage you to become creative as much as possible okay so the last thing that you need to do is to add the transition right over here so just so go to transitions and hit morph and also on the second slide so let's hit morph right over here and also morph right over here all right so now let's initially check um what we have here if everything will go according to our plan okay so here's the initial slide show that we have today I think it looks good i think it looks perfectly good <laughs> oh um i may want to make it a little bit more faster so let's adjust the um duration of the morph transition on this slide and also on the third slide so let's decrease it to um only one second and also here make it um faster okay so if you would like to make it automatically um i mean the animation or the transition will go automatically just hit the second slide and unclick this on mouse click and just click after and also on the third slide just do the same thing and the animation will just go 
um, until to the third slide without um, clicking any keys or your mouse but if you would like to use your mouse to go to the other slide just bring it back again all right so now let's check what we have so far perfect i think this looks good now it is all up to you if you would like to change the colors of it and and as always i am suggesting encouraging you to become to be creative as possible so here's the um other colors that i have made for this slide all right so that's the end of our video tutorial today i hope you've really learned something valuable that could help you ace your presentation on your academic work or other purposes so it, it is all up to you and i am encouraging you to become creative as much as possible again this is prt and slides and please do not forget to subscribe and if you like this video and if you learned something from it please do like and comment down below your suggestion so we could uh, make a tutorial for it in the future so thank you so much for watching this tutorial this is prtn slides and have a great day ahead see you again next time